Hey guys, Cody with CJC Off-Road, and today we're bringing you guys an update for our 2020 Ram Power Wagon project. As you can tell by this clip, this truck is no longer stock. I've been commuting in this truck since we bought it, so I got to spend at least about six to eight weeks driving this truck every day to and from work. Uh, contrary to popular beliefs, California highways are just as bad as every highway out there in this country. So it's a, a pretty good test to just how this truck drives around town, things like that. Um, the Power Wagon project, or the Power Wagon truck, as we talked about it on our drive back from purchasing it, um, it rides okay, it's not horrible. As soon as you hit freeway transition, as soon as you hit some of these bumps, the truck does kind of get out of shape and things like that. Every once in a while you can actually kick the ABS off with these trucks just due to the sway that they have in them naturally. And as we quickly found out on our drive home actually with this truck, the off-road performance actually leaves a lot to be desired. As much fun as this truck was factory, we figured we'd throw it on a knife and modify this truck the only way we know how. So we went with the Carlos Suspension three and a quarter inch pin top king system. So this is a three and a quarter inch lift system traditionally on a non-power wagon truck. However, this is more of a two inch lift up front and one inch lift in the rear. On um, the power wagon trucks, which actually leaves it sitting very level and gives it a very aggressive stance. Now, if you'll also notice, we went with a 37 inch tire. These are 37 inch by 1350 Toyo RTs and on a 5.5 inch backspacing 17 inch trail ready B-lock wheel. Now overall, the highway uh, road mannerisms of this truck are greatly improved, right? The handling, so many people ask, like, you know, we see these clips, these trucks work very well um, uh, off highway. You guys show these clips of them driving on the street, but how do they really handle in a commuter situation? A lot of guys actually buy the power wagon so they can both commute, uh, use the truck as an off-road toy, all these things, and this suspension system is perfect for that. Um, on highway handling is greatly improved. You can swerve in this truck, there's no more dive. So there's a lot of improvements in the uh, on-road uh, handling aspect, um, as well as going over potholes, things like that. You no longer have to brace. It's no longer unpredictable, where you don't know if it's gonna be smooth or harsh. You don't know if it's gonna throw your cup of coffee out, things like that. You can now hit those dips, those railroad tracks with confidence. And then as you can see in these clips, the off-road handling is amazing. Now, so often people buy the power wagon for its low speed capability, right? A lot of guys use this as a replacement for a Rubicon, things like that, um, to go rock crawling trails. One thing that we found most disappointing is when trying to hit any uh, low traction situation at also low speed, the axle hop on these trucks is absolutely horrific. I mean, even with airing down the tires, you find yourself uh, not able to get up some hills and it's just, it's confusing, right? It's a power wagon, should you get up these hills? Fast forward to this suspension system, that is where a custom tuned 2.5 shock is gonna be a huge advantage. The custom tuning and the damping that they're allowed to, the, they're able to tune into it dramatically changes how the truck handles. And for instance, this truck, we no longer experience uh, axle hop going over small seams sand dunes, things like that. The rear end is dramatically more controlled in, in a manner that you know allows you to just tackle any obstacle that's in front of you without axle hop or having to hit it with more speed. Now that custom tuning, as you can see in these clips, also dramatically improves the high speed handling. We're able to take this truck on a road that connects Southern California to Las Vegas. You're able to take this truck at average 55, 65 miles an hour on these dirt roads while completely you know, enjoying a, a in control experience. Uh, yeah, you could take this truck stock at those speeds, however, uh, you would probably need to wear a kidney belt, uh, a mouth guard, and you'd probably lose every piece of change out of your cup holder and all this, you know, all those kinds of issues. So the system allows you to hit these roads uh, much higher speeds, much smoother and at a much higher level of control. And that is also thanks to the amount of travel that these systems have. No longer um, are you super close to your bump stops up front. When you hit a dip, the truck's actually able to completely cycle up and down, just allowing for a lot more comfortable experience. Um, a lot of guys ask, why'd you 
Bruin uh, Power Wagon. It's a factory designed suspension um, that's designed for rock crawling and things like that. This is actually an improvement. The truck leaves, uh, you know, whatever shop installs the system, it leaves with more suspension travel, more articulation, more flex, and able to tackle bigger obstacles. Now again, like I said in the beginning of this video, I actually have been commuting in this truck, so uh, I do think that the commute is greatly improved. Uh, we really are enjoying driving this truck every day to work. Both myself and Cole have been driving it a lot, having a lot of fun with it. As you can see from the video, there's also a couple improvements we made. We got rid of the factory LED fog lights and used our Baja Designs conversion kit to go to a bigger, round, uh, higher performance LED light. And you'll also notice that we were able to mount the intercooler guard, as we call it, for the diesel trucks, actually mounts the power wagon. This isn't a skid plate, however, it does allow you to remove that low hanging valence and kind of allows you to protect the winch from debris and things like that. Do not use it as a skid plate, it is not designed for that. However, it is a cool add-on for those of you with power wagon looking to gain a little clearance uh, for brush and things like that. We also have a lot more videos coming, actually more Power Wagon specific products coming. So we apologize for the delay. How we do appreciate everyone's business in 2020. It was a heck of a year. Uh, we we're extremely busy. So we do hope to introduce a lot more products in 21, as well as a lot more Power Wagon specific videos. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next one.